Happy Tuesday. Hey, we're talking about God's covenant of health and wealth with his people. This is good. We started it yesterday and we're going to have a playlist of God's covenant so that you can watch all these videos on the covenant at one time, just one right after the other. So we'll start a playlist later this week because we're going to do a whole bunch of these because I am determined that you're going to receive the blessing of the Lord and you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. And the reason for that is because I'm available and I get results. You can call me. Our partners can call me. The only requirement to be a prayer partner of this ministry is that you watch the videos every day. I want you to watch them every day. If you miss a day, get caught up. 15 minutes. Don't even try to tell me you don't have 15 minutes. Because if you don't have 15 minutes to watch the videos, you don't have time for me to pray for you. Amen. And the reason I do that is because it makes it so much easier for me to get your prayers answered. Because your faith is at a high level. If you read all of my books, and, I, and we're using two of them right now for this series, The Jesus Book and The Blessing Book. But if you read all of my books, all nine of them, and you watch these videos, you will be living your life on a level higher than almost anybody you know. And you will be spiritually at a higher level than the people you see on television. That's a fact. Because this, these videos and, and this ministry is operating on a level that you cannot imagine. I mean, miracles are routine in this ministry. Let me tell you what just happened. And it's posted on Facebook, on my Facebook page. Go to Jim Kibler, uh, send me a friend request, and uh, then I'll send you an invite for our group. We have a private group in there, and I post all those videos are posted in our private group. So you, and you'll get notifications there when new videos are posted. And we post one, I do six a day, because I used to do only five and everybody complained. They said, well, we need one on Saturday, too. I said, well, okay. So we do them on Saturday, too. So we do six of them a week. Praise God, huh? That's a lot to do these. But I love doing them for you. I love doing them for you. So those are all there for you. But what happened here, uh, last August, a woman in Minneapolis was referred to me by somebody she knew. Her son had just had a horrific motorcycle accident. And he had brain damage. His neck was broken. He was in intensive care. The doctors told her he probably would not even live through the night. He was that bad. And that there was no chance he was ever going to live a normal life. And so she called me when her friend said, call Pastor Jim. Please call Pastor Jim. She called me when she was in the intensive care unit with her son, all hooked up to, had hundreds of tubes coming out of him. And she put me on speaker and I spoke healing over him. I said, he will live and not die. I come against this. I, de I declare supernatural healing for his brain and for his neck and for his body. And I declare he will live a normal, productive, blessed life life. And I just got the, the report. It's been a while, but he's at home living with his family and he's got a ways to go. He's recovering. 
His body was smashed. Smashed beyond recognition. Smashed like you can't believe a body can be smashed. But he's alive. And he's getting better. And he will live a good, normal life. Now that is what happens in this ministry. That's why when people call me, they get results. And I'll tell you how it happens. We give God all the glory, but it happens through the power in the name of Jesus. That's how it happens. That's how it works. That's how I do everything. That's how I speak the blessing over you through that power. Huh? Glory to God. We're talking about God's covenant of health and wealth. Share this video with everybody you know. Hit the invite button on the Facebook page if you're watching these in our group, which a lot of you do. And if you're watching these on YouTube, send everybody you know a text message and say, watch these incredible videos. Nobody out there is teaching on this level, folks. Nobody is. So we praise God for that. Amen. So we're talking about uh, the covenant of God in Deuteronomy 8.18. Now I'm going to um, go over these two verses. And the reason I want to go over these two verses is because I want these verses in your spirit. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power, a force, a magnetic force, that causes wealth to come to you so that he may establish his covenant. Now that's what that's for. That is for covenant people. For his covenant people. He gives them a power, a force to get wealth. And he's telling the children of Israel, don't forget where you got it. Now they knew they had it. God is just telling them, don't forget where you got it. And I'm telling you, when money and finances and blessings come to you, don't forget where you got it. You got it through the power of wealth, which comes from God. That's where you get it. You give God the glory for your blessing. And you give him what belongs to him, too. The first 10% is holy to the Lord. The first 10% is holy unto the Lord. You want your money to be blessed? He wants the first 10% of it. That's a fact. You wouldn't believe the size of our tithe checks. We tithe on the gross that comes into this ministry. Not the net. Not after the bills are paid. The first part. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what we do. And we're rich. We're rich. Oh, glory to God. And 10 years ago, we had trouble paying our bills. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. And he has no hard work or toil to it. You don't have to go out and get five jobs. The other verse that we're hanging on right here is Luke chapter 13, verse 16. Jesus healed this woman in the synagogue. Everybody complained because he did it on the Sabbath. He said, shouldn't this woman, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, he says, shouldn't this woman, because she's a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan is bound for 18 years, shouldn't she be healed today? I used to say, Lord, shouldn't Jimmy Kibler be blessed today because I'm a son of Abraham? I used to tell God that all the time. Sometimes I still do. I remind God every single night when we go to bed who I am. I say, when I turn the light out and the dogs are all on the bed, because the dogs sleep on the bed, folks. We're dog people. We're in bed. The dogs are in bed. Everything quiets down. And I say this. I say, tomorrow will be better than today. And the rest of our life is the best of our life. And my name is Jimmy Kibler. Now, Lord, you bless us and give us favor tonight while we sleep 
because we're covenant people. And I speak a blessing over us. When we go, I do this every single night. Never fails. I remind God that I know I'm a covenant person. That tells him I expect him to bless us. I expect it. Because I'm a son of Abraham. Just like that woman. If I get, if sickness tries to come on us, believe me, we are screaming covenant, screaming covenant all over that house. We're screaming covenant. Every time you remind God who you are. If you are born again, if you have made Jesus Christ your Savior and repented of your sins, that means you are born again. The Spirit of God is living inside you and you are a son or a daughter of Abraham and you are heir to the covenant. It belongs to you. And it includes health and wealth. Make no mistake about it. God is not glorified by poverty. He is not glorified by sickness. Jesus paid the price for these things. We're going to go into this in great depth. We're warming up. We're warming up for this series. Right now, I just want to get into your spirit. I am sowing these words into your spirit. Read Mark chapter 4, the parable of the sower. The sower sows the word. The most important thing, the most important part about sowing is not money. It's not money. Now, now you can sow money. It's wonderful. But that's not the most important thing you can sow. The most important thing that you can sow or that can be sowed into your life is the word of God. Because when the word of God is sowed into your life, by watching these videos, it goes into the flaps on the side of your head, down into your spirit, and your spirit is fertile ground. Your spirit doesn't produce anything inside you. What is produced is what is planted or sowed into your spirit. And what is planted or sowed comes in the form of words. And words, according to Jesus, are sowed and they produce day and night. During the daytime while you're working and doing your stuff, and at night while you're sleeping, these words grow and will produce a harvest. If I sow words on health and abundance in your life, make no mistake about it, it will grow. And it will, and I'll tell you what it'll produce. It will produce health and wealth in your life. We have one of the most prosperous churches in the whole country. I'm telling you what, our, the people in our church are incredibly blessed. I probably have the most prosperous and abundant partners of any ministry per capita in, in the whole country because I am constantly sowing God's word on abundance and health into them, into the flaps on the side of their head. You become what you listen to. And when you listen to me preach healing and abundance, you are eventually going to live in abundance and health because these words grow. God's word works. It works, it works, it works. I told Mary years ago when we were broke and I was listening to people preach about abundance and prosperity, I said, I will live like those people. You keep listening to me and you will live like I live in absolute abundance because God's word works.